we're going to be keeping an eye on her. News over the weekend that a federal judge is prepared to release Lindsey Groves on bail came as a surprise. I was. I read it on WMUR. Groves is accused of sexual exploitation of children and the distribution of child pornography. According to the federal complaint, two boys and a girl were photographed with an iPhone in a private bathroom at Creative Minds Daycare in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. Prosecutors say those photos were sent to Groves' former partner and former New Hampshire state representative, Stacey Lawton, for, quote, sexual gratification. Lawton is also facing federal charges. With regard to community safety, this, these, these allegations are absolutely horrible. On Friday, the same day the federal judge issued a bail order, federal prosecutors fired back, saying in their motion they want to appeal the pretrial bail conditions. That hearing is scheduled for this Friday. So for now, Groves remains in jail. So does Stacey Lawton. A prior felony conviction makes Lawton ineligible for pretrial bail in this case, according to Coughlin, who is shocked that Lindsey Groves could be back in the community as soon as this weekend. I'm really concerned that the federal government is taking this case, and yet now I think they're, they're letting the, uh, the residents of Hillsborough County down in terms of public safety, because this individual is going to go back to Hudson, and, uh, and I'm not sure who's going to be monitoring her. Coughlin says federal convictions bring mandatory sentences in contrast to New Hampshire judges who have a lot of sentencing discretion. So if Groves is convicted, she's facing a mandatory minimum sentence of 15 to 30 years in federal prison. In studio, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.